John, at this very moment, what's the big picture on Colorado River and Lake Mead? Well, unfortunately, it's pretty bad. You know, we had the first ever fed federally declared shortage uh, in August. Uh, conditions have continued to decline uh, since then. I, in March, I told a water conference up in Salt Lake City that the future of the Colorado River is pain, and anyone who tells you differently is selling something. So Colby can give you uh, some of the numbers, uh, but the, the circumstances are pretty dire right now. So uh, we're almost certainly going to be in a tier two shortage next year, resulting in additional water supply reductions to the community. Uh, depending upon what this summer and this summer's water demand shape up like, uh, we could be seeing a tier three shortage as early as 2024 and elevations in Lake Mead nearing 1,000 feet. Uh, based upon the modeling that we've done and the look that we've taken, at how we protect Lake Mead levels from continuing to decline, we estimate that we're going to need as a Colorado River Basin community to conserve between two and four and a half million acre feet additional on top of the reductions we've already agreed to uh, every single year in order to get through to renegotiating the guidelines in 2026.